on a road trip right now and we are heading to Moab, Utah. We are going to go to Arches National Park and Canyonland National Park. Come and join us. for Delicate Arch. It's hard to see it in the reverse camera, but it's back there. It is day two. We are in Moab now. We spent yesterday driving across the Colorado mountains and now we are in the desert and it's really beautiful here. It's a bit chilly, but I think it's gonna be a good day for exploring the area. We got into Moab fairly early yesterday. So we had enough time to spend a couple hours over at Arches. And today we're gonna be spending the whole day there. We knew that there was gonna be a lot to see there. So we wanted to get in a little bit of it yesterday and try and do even more today. We're gonna go eat breakfast and then head on over to Arches National Park. ever so slightly.
it to the top. chilly up here but it's totally worth it because it is so massive and very cool to see in person. Arch and a few others. Can't remember all the names. Cool rock formation here. through this hike here.
day three. We spent all day yesterday at Arches and it was really cool to check out. We had a great time. It was just fun to explore the area. So beautiful. Today, however, is a little bit on the gloomy side. You can see the clouds behind me here. We are planning to go to Canyonlands, but we're gonna wait until the weather breaks up a little bit later in the day as they said it was supposed to. Taking a little bit easier this morning, not gonna push ourselves as much because to be honest, we did so much hiking yesterday, I am so sore. Time to get some breakfast right now, get refueled. We might do a little shopping over in Moab, just some souvenir shopping or something. And then we'll go and check out Canyon Lands. So we'll see how the day goes and hopefully make some more memories. <laughs> the Mesa Arch. I think it's the only arch in Canyonlands. thought it wouldn't be worth it coming to Canyon Lands, but the sun eventually came out. See, there it is, right in my face. The views are spectacular here. It's no Grand Canyon. It's definitely breathtaking, and it's one of those places that you just cannot see on a video. You have to go and check out for yourself. That is what our day three was like. Now time to go back to town and get some dinner. It's too cool for the pool, but my kids are enjoying the hot tub here at our hotel. But we do actually have a seasonal pool. Day four, our last day, heading home today. 
I am going and getting an early breakfast before my kids even get out of bed. Usually I've been the last to eat breakfast, but this morning I'm getting an early start because I always have a lot of packing and organizing to do before we head out. It's been a great trip and hopefully we have a safe drive home. There's something really nice about getting to breakfast early and getting the whole dining room pretty much to myself. Just a few early risers here. So I'm doing my coffee in peace before my whole family comes down and joins me. Taking a detour on our way back home, we stopped at the Colorado National Monument. Our drive home is a little under six hours and we left at a good time. We thought we would take in one more activity and the Colorado National Monument is just outside of Grand Junction. It's a really pretty place. Uh, so far I've enjoyed seeing it and I'm so glad that the weather has cleared up for us to go and do the drive here. But then it is back on the road for another four hours until we get home. That concludes our adventure to Moab, Utah, visiting arches, canyon lands, and our little stopover in Grand Junction to see the Colorado Monument. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. I appreciate you watching and may you have a beautiful day.